Well, hello. I thought I would shoot another video and show people how I set up my FOB assaults to get uh, a decent score, some things I wish I could have found online. I'm sure they're out there somewhere. I just didn't happen across them. So I thought I'd make a short video. I made one on the combat platform as a run-through, but uh, I didn't split them, so I'll just split this off. Um, when you get into the FOB event, this one's called New World Order. Uh, it does show you your mission tasks over on the right hand side and I pretty much pay attention to all of them and try and pick up all of them except the 330 second one. I don't know how you do that in 5 minutes and 30 seconds without killing people and uh, having them alert on you, which blows several of the other credits. So as you get in here, it's uh, the FOB that you're attacking has 14 of the 28 uh, built, which means you have two platforms for each one that you're attacking. And over here on the right hand side, it shows you uh, the overall setup. It says security status, defense level 14, 26 guys on the platform. You won't face that many because when you get to the next level and it splits them apart, you see the insertion point has 12 available and 14 guys available at the objective point. But on the first one, the insertion point, only six guys are actually active unless you hit, get one of them to throw a, uh, an alert up and then six guys in reinforcements come. And the same with the other platform, which means you'll be facing on the, on the objective point pl platform eight guys unless you hit an alert and then six are available. So there's like um, 26 available. I know I've taken down about 23 or 24 when, uh, when I screwed up. Heading but to that does get fun. but you start blowing your score. So if you're looking for higher heroism and higher uh, event scores and things like that, that'll, that'll mess it up for you, so I try not to be noticed. To that end, uh, I have a loadout over here on my right-hand side with non-lethal, uh, including uh, stun grenades, uh, stun decoy, and sleep grenades. Uh, I don't tend to use them on these assaults, except the, uh, uh, the active decoy is key to this particular uh, assault I'm gonna run. Uh, notice that the on the left hand side under where this area is over here It says staff rank bonus, which is uh, significant for a higher score Go to your select character and this one I just got a, a medal for which raised his stats which put him up farther but If you go all the way down to the bottom Sometimes you can find somebody that has a higher staff rank bonus to get yourself uh, a higher score. So make sure that you're running the guy with the highest uh, staff rank bonus and every once in a while I can find one that says 2.0 which is awesome because you get double points but those aren't always available so uh, it's a reason you want to uh, Fulton some uh, Fulton extract some lower level guys now and then to get that bonus and I'm running uh, fatigues that blend in with the blacktop deck on this and a bat balaclava. Leaving this the way it is. Oh, the other thing is, um, on these loadouts, I didn't know this uh, initially, is that you can save three loadouts and just quickly change between them by hitting the one and three key. And I've got a non-lethal loadout. It took me forever to notice that out, so I was playing like four weeks before I noticed that one. So I'm going to commence mission. And the other thing you want to notice here is that when you go in and do a daylight raid, you do get a 1.5 bonus in your score at some point in time. So that does it for how I set these up for my uh, load-in on the FOB missions. Uh, if you want to uh, take advantage of higher scores and whatnot. And I'll stop the video here, separate this, and go run one for you. And see you in game.